can you see me all right? Is it bright enough? Not bright enough. Do you want me to come to this bit where it's bright? No, you're right now. Yeah, happy? I'm happy actually, yeah. Cool. Um, so I'm here today to tell you about our lovely new range, Stuff Sacks. Is that what you call them? No, packing cubes. So I'm going to talk to you through our new range of packing cubes. As you can see, they're not actually cubes, they're more cylinders. Um, that's something you need to sort out with your branding name. Um, yeah, yeah, you half-heartedly told me that the reason that they're not cubes is because cubes don't actually fit very well into a van, whereas cylinders, much better for a van space. They pack down a lot easier, they fit in longer areas. So I do kind of get what you're saying, but maybe we work on the name. We wanted packing cubes, but we realized that the cubes were no good, so we made packing cylinders. But why don't, we, why don't you change the name? Because I think every, if, if you wanted cubes, you'd be like, I want packing cubes, and we are now <laughs> convincing people that cubes are no good. Okay. <laughs> so we're staying with packing cubes. I think they're packing cubes. Packing cubes. Um, so we've got five different sizes. Um, this is the first one. This oh. is one litre of packing cube. Um, this is what I would personally use for my toiletries, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, anything that I just want to have small, convenient, easy to grab. That's your one. Um, moving up, we've got the five litre packing cube. This for me would be my pants, my socks, my knickers my dirty clothes, throw it in there, throw it out. Again, super convenient, you're good to go. Next size up, 20 litre. Correct. Correct. Uh, this is for your long, medium long things. This is for your awning poles, stuff. Can you see this? Can you see this with your, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, stuff like this, uh, or even your awnings. This is what I'd use that for. Next size up, <laughs> look at this guy. This is 30 litres. There are 30 litres, one metre 30 long. Wow, big it's lo look at the length on it. What about the bag? <laughs> <Ooh. What> about <laughs> <you? laughs> well, that's getting cut. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is for your super long stuff. So this would be for your, like your umbrellas, uh, your windbreaker poles, um, maybe another awning. Um, it's pretty big. And finally, the mammoth. 100 litre stuff sack. It's not a stuff sack. 100 litre storage. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is quite funny because you're right. It is, it is a stuff sack, isn't it? It's like a packing cube. 100 litre packing cube. Why, this... did we, why did we make this one? It was for you. For me? Just your, your, your activities. Grubby. Yeah, this is muddy stuff, all right? I've just been mountain biking my mates and I've been absolutely caked because I'm really bad at riding mountain bikes. And I don't want to just leave my dirty stuff all over my van. It all goes in here, it keeps it contained. Um, anything dirty, anything. You could use it as a bin bag if you wanted to. And what about bed sheets, sleeping bags, linen is quite a good one we've used them for. That's a great, I didn't even think of that myself. Um, yeah, prime example, if say, so my conversion, it's just a single bed. So I'm normally I'm just using a sleeping bag, but when I've got a lovely girl in there with me. Lucky lady. Lucky lady. We could then use this as storage for their linen. Smart, like it. Um, Material, do you know what it was made from? I think it's a 240 gram rip stop, which has got a, not a crazy amount of water repellency, but you'd say pretty, yeah, your, your muddy shit isn't going through. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm just falling in a puddle, and I'm gonna throw my stuff in here. If I'm gonna leave it there, it's not yeah. gonna dribble out. So we, didn't, we haven't got tape seams and stuff on them, but fundamentally <laughs> they really. are, they're, we'd, we'd call them highly water resistant, with probably, water's quite crafty, and it can get through places. Water can get everywhere. It's so crafty. It's Waterproofing is hard, right? Really hard. Really so we hard. Just, just cover our asses and say water resistant. Water resistant. Um, but yeah, like I said, you're not getting caught. But they're in. kind of tough. So they are, they're, they're deliberately lightweight. Yeah, they're, they're good. Not, um, they're not super chunky, so they pack. Yeah, they're, um, they're actually pretty practical. This isn't me just no, selling you. This is actually, this is a good product. Mr. Got, well, everyone's got a hand on the bottom. So you can just throw it out. Let's see that, look at that. Practical. Um, we wrap this up. Yeah, there you go. That's them. They're online now. Buy them. Um, we might do a pricing like buy four, get a fifth one free or something. Strong. I'm going to leave that with you. Yeah, please. That's do. not my room. No, um, yeah, cool. All right, let's take photos of them. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>